Hi, so today I'm going to do a low intensity body conditioning class, which basically means that you're going to firm up parts of your body that you want to firm up and tone up. So it is a low intensity and quite repetitive. What you will need is some form of weight if you want, you don't have to because it's low intensity. The only things that I've got are cans of baked beans and a drink if you want. Okay, so I'm going to do low intensity intensity and offer up a higher intensity. I will switch between the two and you can choose which you would rather do. Okay, so let's start with a little warm up routine. Step and tap in front. To the side, step and point. And behind. Just stop and twist your shoulders, one side, centre, step and tap again, step, tap, two, three, to the side, and behind, now I'm going to step it up a bit, but you can keep it here, just twist your shoulders one way, other way, now I'm going to jump, jump and point to the side, behind, now I'm going to twist my hips as I jump and point in front again to the side. Remember you can do steps behind and twist. I'm double stepping to the side. Punch your arms forward, back and punch your arms up and scoop. Forward, punch, scoop, punch up, you can jump this up a bit, back the other way, and again, punch forward, now I'm going to grapevine to the side, just step and point, grapevine, step and point, grapevine, Step and point, gain, and you can gallop, and gallop and curl, again, one more, you can pump it up, now we're going to double step forward, knee up, double step forward, and just single step back, double forward, step, knee up, and step back. I'm going to chasse, I'm going to jump it up. And now I'm going to jack back rather than step. Chasse or step, knee up. And jack or step. And march it out. So that's a little warm up. I'm going to do it again from the top. And we're going to take it low and high on each one. Step and point to begin with. To the side. Step back. Twist those shoulders. I'm going to jump. You can step if you want. To the side. Behind. And twist. Scoot to the side, punch forward. Scoot back, punch up. Or gallop. And jump and punch. Back the other way. Great bye. Step and point. Again. Or you can gallop and leg curl. One more. Good, double step forward, double, knee up, again, step and point back, chasse forward, knee up, jack back, good job, well done. So that's a little warm up, hopefully you're a little bit more warmer, blood pumping a little bit quicker, not out of breath, but maybe a little bit breathless. Okay, we're going to start working arms and legs and then we'll go down to the floor and do some tummy. So this is where I'll use my cans of beans for the higher intensity. 
It is repetitive more for toning than it is for building up. Okay, so stand with your feet a comfortable width apart. Make sure that you're only working the arms here, okay? Tummy in, bottom under. What we're gonna do, reach inside, closing forward, reach out. Reach up, and then we reverse it. Out, in, out, and down. That's all it is, constant movement with those arms. Here we go, out, forwards, out, and lift back down forward good job straight arms shoulder width height to begin with two more out forward now it may be too easy for you but for some people this might be adequate and if we do it enough you will feel it working now I'm going to bend down and grab my weights you can if you want forward and lift and lower again so it's not very different not a huge weight but it can help increase your stamina and a little bit for your strength as well as toning okay I'm gonna stick with the beans but you can put them down or whatever you're holding, if you're holding anything. Lovely. So we keep doing the same exercise and hopefully you should feel the benefits by it maybe hurting a little bit, not uncomfortable pain. Good job. We're going to do two more like this. Just two more here. Try and keep the posture. Keep the tummy in even if you're getting tired. And up. And down. Marvellous. Okay, we're going to shake that out a little bit by doing some punches. So all we're going to do is step and punch across. Try not just to punch from the wrist and the arm and the elbow. Try and bring your shoulder in as well. Now I'm just stepping and pointing as I transfer the weight across. Keep the tummy in. Three. If you want, you can bend. So you're actually intensifying the leg workout as well. Or you can just keep it at the same level. You choose, it's your class. It's your body, you know. We're gonna keep going at this, repetition. This is where you allow your frustration of whatever's going on in your life out through your exercise, which is why it helps. Four more, four, three, two, one. Step and shake it out. Because this is a video, you have the, the, the situation where you can stop, pause, carry on, do some more, stop, pause, get a drink, or stop, pause, and just keep repeating before you go on to the next exercise. I'm gonna use the cans again as weights for the next one. Bicep curls and a little chest pump. Okay, so again, wide legs, nice and soft knees, tummy in, bottom under. We're gonna do two bicep curls, even without a weight. If you actually lift up from the elbow and squeeze at the top, you are contracting that muscle and it will work for you. So two of those, then we go out, up to a strong pose, squeeze into the middle, out and down. Again, without weights, if you really push here and squeeze and tense up the muscles, you're working. I will grab the weights as well, okay? I'm gonna do it low intensity with you to begin with. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze and out. Squeeze in, good job, and up, bicep. Arms out, squeeze in, 
two more like this and I will show you the higher intensity it's not just the weights out in we use the legs a little bit as well with the higher intensity out and in okay I'm grabbing my weight so we have wide legs up we go down as we go out knees in as well as the elbows up with the arms and down with the knees in out so what you're doing essentially is working your inner thighs as well as your chest good job this is where you need to make sure you've got wide feet so that your knees don't overtake your feet when you squat down okay we've got four more of these squeeze squeeze out in so with the biceps we do tend to use them a lot they're quite strong so maybe a can of beans is not going to cut it for you and you might need to have heavier weights for this one if you do it again or want to pause and get some and out and in lovely and you can relax again you can do them as many times as you want so we're going to do another little punchy exercise you can just use your arms if you want or we can involve the legs we're going to do double punches to each side so eight to one side turn and eight to the other side just the arms first here we go double both arms change and change cross keep the tummy in change now if you want you can add that knee up 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 and change push push so it's opposite knee to the arm that's punching change you don't have to have the knee you can just be punching and change keep going change remember repetitions the name of the game and again keep the tummy in good posture working from the shoulder and the leg if you want hope you're swapping each time come on two more each side that's one one side one the other side come on one more and change lovely relax so we're just going to concentrate on the legs this time because we've done arms arms and legs now it's just the legs so I'll offer up the low intensity and then I'll show you how you can increase that double leg lift front side and back just remember always to keep your posture so as you lift your leg you're not leaning when you lift to the side don't turn the hip make sure the toes pointing forward and as you go behind make sure it's a straight leg you're not kicking so we're really working the hamstring and the bottom in between we do two heel raises and then we do it on the other side core balance to make sure you don't fall over and don't lean too far on the supporting leg four three two leg lifts forward up down out to the side and behind now if you really want two heel raises you don't have to put your foot down in between so you're really engaging the core muscle and you're really concentrating on that balance as well as the leg muscles straight leg behind two up in the middle and let's do low again so two leg lifts lift keeping that tummy tight if you want to have something to hold on to you can because you really want to work your legs here and it's not going to work if you're wobbling about everywhere change legs so I can't talk and instruct at the same time so hopefully you're following and doing what I'm doing and changing as I'm changing now I'm going to go up and I'm going to add a lunge in between so lift lunge lift down lift lunge lift to the side 
lift, squat, lift to the back, lift, lunge, just two heel raises, up, other side, lift, lunge, to the side. You don't have to do this, remember you can just do the two lifts that I did, sorry, I lost the lunge. Let's try that again with the lunge. To the side. Make sure with the squat and the lunge, you're staying very central, not leaning forwards or back. Change legs with the heel raise. Lift, lunge. To the side. And behind. We're gonna do one more each side. Heel raise. And let's go. Lift. You can do two lifts or you can do it with the squat and lunge. Behind. Heel raises. So we're working the calf muscles as well. Other leg. Forward. Side. Behind. And two heel raises. Well done. So we're going to do two down on the floor, one tummies, one abs. So tummy high a bit and the abs are low a bit. If you want to get your mat, you can. Okay. So I'm just going to do crunches, but there's always lots of rules to remember with the crunch to make sure that you are doing them right. So you need to make sure that your head is back and your chin is lifted, that you're not pulling in. You need to make sure your chest is open and your elbows are out behind, even when you lift up. Exhale as you come up, and as you come down, don't arch your back. A lot to remember, but very important for good posture. So we're just going up and down. Here we go. Lift and lower. Really try and get that lift at the top, which I will make harder for you in a moment. But you need to feel the crunch, not just lift and be comfortable. Go up as high as you can. Now I will make you work harder, but if you do want to take the higher level, you can take your arms behind your head so you're adding extra extension. And if you want, you can try and cross your arms so you're leaning back on your arms. It's a preference. What we're going to do is go up for two, all right? So we're going up to the highest and adding a little bit higher. Up, squeeze. That way I know you're really pushing. Now you can have your hands in front and use one hand just to support your head so that you're not really straining the neck and the chest. It's really important you have that good distance between your chin and your chest. Up, down, down. Lift, lift. So the second lift should really support that contraction. Squeeze to make sure that you are working hard. Remember, repetition. Good job. Again, if you want to take it up a bit higher, you can bring your knees in with each lift. So you're crunching top and bottom. Same rules apply. Keep the elbows out, chest open, 